Dr. Lori in St. Louis Park, Minnesota at the Goodwill. And I'm thrifting, and let me tell you, there's some cool stuff. So here's what I found. How about Mikasa Crystal Candlesticks? I mean, they're just beautiful. And they're $4.99. I guess they're $4.99 each. So they're, they're uh, 10 bucks for the two of them. But I would do those for 10 bucks for the two of them. They're beautiful, crystal, heavy, weighty. Really, I like those. Those are nice. Those are worth, oh, what are they worth? Eh, they're worth like 35 for the pair. So for, for 10, I see whether or not you can get a coupon. <laughs> right? And then uh, what else do I see that I like? Oh, well, this is a Joseph Original. A lot of you, of course, collect Joseph Originals. The Joseph Original is here. I don't know if you can see that mark, but right here it says Joseph Originals right around that edge. And they had little girls of the different months and the different years. Are you five years old or six years old? But they also had the different months of the year. So April, the fourth month, May, the fifth month. This is cool. When you turn five, this is beautiful. That's a cute little collectible. Obviously, this is a Yadro knockoff. You can tell obviously why. First of all, uh, look at the hands. They look like they're mittens. They look like they're gloves. They don't look like actual human hands. <laughs> Uh, look at the face, not very well decorated and designed. It's an elongated figure. You don't see green on a Yadro usually. <laughs> so that's another tip off. And then notice on the bottom, you don't have any of the information from Yadro made in Spain. It's just a big elongated knockoff. So you leave that here. This doesn't have to be here. Oh, and then there's the camel. Let me tell you the quick camel story. So whenever I see camels, I remember being in Istanbul, Turkey. And when I was in Istanbul, you came out of um, any of the tourist places, and there was usually a camel sitting there. For an American who'd never seen a camel, this was a big deal. So they had a sign next to the camel. I wanted to take a photograph of it with my camera, and they said, well, photographs of the camel are one euro. And I was like, I'm not paying to take a picture of the camel. Well, I didn't want to pay to do that, so what I did is I took a picture with my mind. And I, you'd be surprised at what you can remember. What you can remember is just look and look and look. So every time I see a camel, <laughs> I go, I remember the camel in Turkey. So use that, because your brain is really like a computer, or better. So that's what I think of when I see the camel. And this one's kind of nice, but uh, not what we're going to be looking for today. And then other things on these shelves that I thought were great, this beautiful, round, gorgeous, uh, mid-century modern, red glass, nice and sharp on the bottom. Got a couple of issues here, but I will say that that's a beautiful piece. $4.99, and it's weighty and heavy, and the color is luscious, and that's what really sells these pieces. The color is luscious. It's a beautiful color, that orangey red, that sort of flame red that's very popular in the 1960s, uh, indicative of a time period when we're all, of course, um, doing quite well financially. $4.99, that's a deal. That's a deal. That piece is going to go for about $55 to $60 um, in the resale market for that one. I think that's beautiful. Um, a couple of willow tree pieces. A lot of people still collect them when you see them. The ones that have, of course, wings or the ones that have, again, another attribute, like these nice carved wooden lily flowers. So um, me, I'd probably take all three, but this one I definitely would make sure that I took home with me. $2.99, a lot of people collect them. These collections are big all over. And, um, and speaking of collections, people put in their houses. I don't know how many of you have, of course, the cow creamer. My mother's name was Elsie, so we had cow creamers. But it, this cow creamer reminds me of me doing an in-home appraisal with folks and two sisters-in-law who were cleaning out their mother-in-law's home, and they t came to blows. I mean, literally hit each other over the cow creamer. One of them was like, I'm getting that, and the other one's like, I'm getting that. And I'm like, oh, gosh, these women are fighting over the cow creamer. Uh, value on it, not worth $6.99, not this one. This one's probably only worth a couple bucks. And, you know, not worth fighting with your sister-in-law either. <laughs> so 1976 or so, we had all of these, you know, eagle um, door handles and knobs and stuff on the furniture. This is not a great piece. Uh, it's not solid wood. If you look at this, this is actually a picture of a piece of wood grain. They put it inside the MDF board, you know, uh, to basically show you what's what. So that... I would, you know, it's, well, it's only $14.59, it's only $15, so you'd have to get some new 
poles and such. So it's a sturdy piece, but I would pass by it because the quality is not there. But okay, that's that. This is oak. Right here is what you want. So you want this, okay, file drawers, Pendaflex file drawers, but the whole outside of it is solid oak. David, David, my friend David Highfield, <laughs> this is oak. So, you know, you're watching us together. He's like, is it oak? This is oak. So that's what you like to see. I like to see that. Um, and again, a lot of these pieces, as you get into the late 20th century, have some oak and then have some, you know, um, what's fiberboard for the most part. So that's what we're typically seeing. But this piece at... $9.99, you cannot beat that. Now, granted, you got to get some, two strong guys to move it because it's heavy. But you know what filing cabinets cost today? They cost a lot. <laughs> so that's a piece that I would say definitely you want. Um, these pieces are very typical, indicative of the 1960s with those curved cabriole legs and some of this. You know, you have a little bit of fencing there. Then you've got some rock maple chairs up here which you could kill somebody with one of these. <laughs> these are really, really strong. Rock maple, well-made, but, you know, strong pieces. And uh, then if I come around here, in fact, um, you know, good-sized desk. I would like, I like desks like this. I used to work in my school projects on the dining room table because I needed to spread out. And then uh, this piece, this piece is an old piece, however, this piece has, you know, early, late 1950s. This piece, not patina, not patina. Everybody thinks that this is not, this is patina. This is oily buildup. This is actually the oils on your hands have worn away that part of the staining. But the upholstery and the tufting is very nice on that, on that piece. I see... $12.49 at the top of that. Wow, that's amazing. So as long as it doesn't smell, you know, make sure there's not an odor because it's hard to get rid of odors. That's definitely a $75 chair, and it looks like it's pretty comfy. I think that's good for the man cave, right? The furniture area here is pretty nice. Don't forget things like, you know, stools. This is wicker. Needs a little bit of help here, but stools like this. These are reproductions, so I probably leave these here, but a lot of nice furniture. Oftentimes you can get a steal on a piece of furniture at a Goodwill. So look what I found. You all need one of these. <laughs> you know what this is. This is a Solander box. That's right. This is only $6.99. Solander boxes like these. This is an older one from the 1980s to keep your art, your prints, to protect it. It's acid free. It's chemically inert. They're expensive online. This is worth about 40 bucks and they only want $6.99. So don't step by that and don't walk by this either. <laughs> Fun. Oh, hey, hockey skates. Oh, you're not finding those in the Florida Goodwill. <laughs> so you got to find those in Minnesota. Right? Oh, wow, inline skates. Yeah, fun. Well, you have a lot of fun. Break your neck on those, but good. <laughs> but not for Florida. That's for here. <laughs> Come on. So here's Dorothy. Look at Dorothy. <laughs> well, anyway. Oh, and she doesn't have her slipper. Maybe she needs to talk to Cinderella. She has some extra shoes. <laughs> oh, Peppa's back. Here's Peppa. The other one, a little better, a little damaged, Peppa. This is an F&B doll. Wow, she's really nice. She's in nice shape. We've got to get that price tag off of her face. I don't know why they put a price tag on her face. Here's the mark, always under the neck. There's the F&B mark. Very famous dolls, of course. So she's really nice. $10.99. Hopefully that doesn't damage when it comes off. That's valuable. That doll is easily worth 65 bucks. Curious George looks good. Couldn't be cleaner. He looks really good. Oh, <laughs> and Elmo, who always makes you laugh. I don't care what it is. Tickle me, Elmo. He's a lot of fun. Elmo. He's been loved. He's good. I like him. Um, Elmo's a $2.99, but needs a bath, so I'd leave him there. And what else have we got? Oh, hey, how about this? How about this? The Fisher Price telephone. I don't think the kids today would know how to use the dial phone. <laughs> I don't think they know what they were doing. Hey, when you've got, you know, when you've got a smartphone, you don't want a dial phone. But it still works. How much is that? $3.99. So um, it lost, of course, part of it, so it's a little damaged. But this is old school. I like it. $3.99 is a little high. Value on it, about $12. Bucks. So 
but a lot of fun in the toy aisle, that's for sure. I'm done shopping at St. Louis Park, Minnesota's Goodwill. Putting my card away, I'm leaving all the treasures for you. Go get them.